As you turn the corner towards Murray Hall, you can see a magnificent beast standing in the center of a circular pathway. It stands tall above humans. It blends in and stands out against the environment. This horse was originally made with driftwood and scrap pieces of wood. It was later cast in bronze and painted with patina to imitate the original wood. Aside from looks, the smooth and rough touch of the individual pieces feels like actual wood. The composure of the horse awaits someone to pat its head. Its relaxed posture is contrasted to the wood similarly portraying the muscles of the horse as it stretches out its head and stands still. This bronze with patina horse was created by Deborah Butterfield. Wind River is one of the many other compositions of horses. Since the 1970s, Butterfield has viewed these sculptures as self-portraits, as each one is made with a different scrap material and poses differently. The different horses are both representational and abstract. Butterfield created infinite detail on the horses. The composition reflects how many hours she has spent with her horses. The material also used reflects today's society. While the wood representation reflects nature, the bronze material and welding focus on the industrial side of life. Although the horse is the center of attention for this public art, the entire composition includes the type of ground the horse stands on, the pathway people walk upon, the benches they sit on, and the plants that surround the entire enclosure. This attribution is dedicated to the Lubbock region's grazing grounds. The plants that are in the surrounding area are specific to West Texas. The combinations of the trees, the horse, and humans are to establish the ecological relationship between them. Although quotes indicated on the benches do not directly correlate with Butterfield's horse, they meld to the aspect of the purpose of education. The purpose, public permission.